friends, this is Mantas from Venomy. You are listening to the Heavy Demons Radio Show. Can you tell us something about your animal rescue project and in which way is your music involved and how can fans help? Well, basically, it, I mean, it, it's come about because uh, since being a small child, I've always had cats. <laughs> I've grown up with cats. My mother had cats. And I can safely say that every single one of them has been a rescue or we've taken a kitten from someone who has, whose cat has had kittens yeah. and can't deal, deal with them. Um, I've never purchased an animal, never. Uh, so they've all been rescues, and it's just grown and grown and grown. And we started out with a couple of cats here. Um, then, you know, there was, all of a sudden there was eight of them, and now there's ten of them. So I've actually, on the, on the back of the house, I've actually built a, like a cat hotel. It's this, this structure on the back yeah. of the house. And they, they have, um, there's a room at the back of the house, which is like a utility room. But that's become their room. That's where they live. The window is always open so they can come and go freely. But they are safe within this compound because we've lost two cats on the road outside. Okay. We used to let them run free. Um, but we found two, two of our cats at the roadside, you know, who had been okay. hit by cars. And we were like, oh, we can't do this again. It, no, it's no. horrible. Um, so I built the compound and they're all in there. Um, and there is an animal sanctuary, a cat and dog sanctuary, which is literally five minutes drive from me. And I had no idea how big it was. This place is enormous. And there must be upwards of 100 dogs in there and probably 30 or 40 cats. Some of the cats come and they roam free in the grounds, um, but they're always looking for donations. They're looking for food, for blankets, basic things like cleaning products. And because of the COVID situation at the moment, the, um, the sanctuary, they always do the, um, the local artisan markets because in Portugal, we have a great market culture here where people can go and just set up a stall and you can sell things that you make or you cook or anything like that. And myself and Anita, we've done a few of these things where we, you know, we've just made things. We went and we've done it. It's, you know, it's great. It's a social occasion. Some people do it actually for a living, but the shelters actually do it to raise money. So they rely on people donating, I don't know, maybe an old clock or, or, or a jacket or something like that. Then they'll sell this stuff at the market to raise money for food and care. Some of the dogs and cats that they have are on daily medication, and this costs a lot of money. Yeah. Um, but with the COVID situation, the markets have basically, they're dead. They've been closed down. There's no big gathering. You know what it's like. There's no big gatherings. So there hasn't been any real viable markets where they can go and... You know, and sometimes there's a huge market in Tomar, it was, which is run by a friend of ours, and um, it's in the park, and it, it's a big market, and it's, it's always the first Sunday of every month, and lots of people turn up there, and there's at least two that I can think of, maybe three animal shelters which go there, and they even take some of the animals with them where you can adopt them there and then on the day. They're so desperate. How, how it came about was, you know, I've got so much music on, on my hard drives, and there's a lot of different stuff. I mean, there's the, the music from the band Drill that I had a few years ago. There's all the original demos of the Zero Tolerance album, um, which I've remastered and put extra tracks in there as well. Then there was a classic rock and blues sort of jazz swing thing that I did with a friend of mine. Um, and it's all just been sitting there and nobody's heard it. So I thought, let's put it out there and let's try and make some money for the shelter. So it doesn't matter if you buy one song, an album, 
Oh, there's T-shirts up there as well. Um, 25% of everything that's made from the website, and there's going to be more stuff coming up there. There's going to be uh, actual paintings that I do. Um, there's going to be a lot of things. There's a lot of stuff coming, but 25% of everything okay. goes straight to the shelter. There's also, if you go there, it's jeffmantis.com. If you go to Song Shop, that's where you can get the songs. There's also, within the Song Shop page, there's a donate page. Mm -hmm. um, you will see a banner at the top of that page, which if you click that banner, it takes you straight to the donation for the shelter. That's got absolutely nothing to do with me, so you can donate directly via PayPal to the shelter itself. 